take a look. That is a two and a half, maybe a three inch brush. And he's going to paint the entire house with that size brush. No roller. And this is going to be coat number one. And you'll see how areas he's already picked up on. So he's stricken on the front of the house here, but he's already gotten over in this area. And then this area is just first coat. You can see why there's still paintbrush looks to it. And as you'll see, as we get through the different colors, or should I say the different layers, this is going to get richer and richer, a leathery red color. And it's really going to pop between the white trim lines and then the base coat over here on the bottom, which is going to be a different color as well. And don't want to spoil that, but that's going to be in a couple, maybe in a couple days we'll catch that. But you can see, this is all he's gotten so far done today. And it's just a little bit area for the downstairs kitchen. But if I stand back, spin around and kind of pull out the back of it, you can get an idea of what the color is going to start looking like. It's going to match the trim up there, but of course that trim is getting a different color as well. So the what it's referred to as the belt of the house, that's at least what my wife refers to it, those two top and, top and bottom concrete trim pieces, they are going to get a different color as well. So it'll be really a poppy kind of colors when it's all said and done, which is currently not poppy. It's more of just bland average. And we're looking to something to make it a little pop a little bit more. So what else did we get done yesterday? Um, the plant trimming continued all around here, which was, you know, not my job. I don't do plant trimming, as I said. The mess is still here. This is going to be my job today to clean this up. Uh, the scaffolding will go up probably in the next day or two. That's going to be fun to watch. And I'm really happy to report that my repairs on my water pump yesterday were successful because today there's no more water anywhere on the ground. So I can tell I have been successful in my endeavors. I also took the power washer over here and cleaned up this area of any of the little green algae, dug up all the weeds that were around this area here and behind our storage area. There's still a lot of garbage I need to clean up on that end, but my hose to the power washer only went so far and I'll spring off the paint off the uh, concrete over here. So that was some of the things we got done already, kind of moving at a very slow pace. When it's only one person working, I don't expect anything to go very quickly. So today's goal is to take the riding mower with the cart and drag it around and pick up all the trimmings around here. Oh, and I never did get to pick blackberries yesterday, or should I say, um, mulberries yesterday. So I think I'm gonna do that today and I'll show you how many we get when they're done. And I don't know if you can see it in here. Oh, no, sorry, never mind. I thought I saw a lizard hiding in the tree, but it's just my eyes playing tricks on me. But anyway, so let's get, uh, get to cracking around here. Got a lot of work to do, and we'll show back up uh, later in today what we got done. I may even take the, may take the riding mower and cut the grass over in this section over here in the weeds area. Now, if you want to see something, we have a small pool over here. It's just for the dogs. So on a hot day like today, and it is hot, we have this little pool no more than two feet deep. And we don't keep it very high, so even the small dogs, we don't have to worry about them drowning. He can just stand in it. And they like to play in this as well. It's a great way for the dogs to cool off and water to drink. Well, the mulberry plant has been picked of all the black ones, but you can still see there are lots and lots of red berries still that are going to need to be picking in the next couple days. One of the disadvantages of, or one of the problems of picking these things, it really does stain your fingers. Look at this. That's the hand that was helping. Here's my main picking hand, and you can see, it looks like I've been bleeding. Some of the berries, when you pick them, they just turn into mush on you because they're overripe. 
and then they stay in your fingers. And it'll take about three hard washes of soap to get this out of my fingers. You don't want to get this stuff on your clothing. It will stain your clothing very nicely. But oh, I now have some snack food and I'm going to take these, wash them, and throw them into some yogurt. Not all at one time, but you know, nice healthy snack to eat that didn't cost anything. Now, the really fun part about these plants, I think we spent 50 baht each for them when we put them in the, gr in the ground. And 50 baht is about a buck 75. These berries, when you go to the market, they sell for about 50 baht a kilo. And I have easily over a kilo of berries today. So this plant has more than paid for itself third year in a row, which is great. Love that. Anyway, let's see what else we've got to go doing today, but probably after I eat my yogurt. I bought this rotting mower so that I didn't have to push the lawnmower around anymore, but I'm finding it extremely useful to do other things. So today, instead of using the hand cart there, loading all the twigs up and having them roll it out of the compound and then around the corner where we're doing all the dumping, I just throw it in the bucket here and then take the riding mower, drive it over there, dump it, saving myself lots of leg work, a lot of sweat. It's lovely. Hey, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take all the leaves and we're going to put them in my lawnmower. I've got all of this. That's going to go up in here. Got a pile over there, a pile over there. I've got piles all over the place that will fit perfectly in this bucket, allow me to run it out, in and out, in and out, in and out. I am finding that the bucket is tipsy on the lawnmower. My little hour meter here that I just added. And I got to screw that in still today. That's another one of the projects still has had to be done today, hour meter. Um, but it's definitely much easier than trying to stack it and roll it because my cart does not have full inflated tires and my air pump is over at the resort at the moment. So let's get cracking and watch what happens. And just like that, the big pile ends up in the bucket. What's nice about these leaves, they've been sitting around for a while and they will make great uh, kindling to get the fire going that will burn all the trimmings that are gonna be over there. And in about eight hours from now, I will have a nice glowing fire just in time for sundown when the fire will look the most prettiest. Wow, it's the end of the day. Let's see how far uh, Lung has gotten. Well, he started, ended here, but now he started over there. I don't know why he would have skipped these three spots here. Guess he ran out of paint and decided to go the other direction. But this is what one coat of paint looks like. And as I've been told, there are going to be three of them. But you can tell already, it's definitely a major change from what color it used to be. And it really is going to get darker and darker red. I call it a leather red. If you think of like some red leather shoes, that's the color that it's supposed to end up in. So looking forward to the end result of this. Tomorrow we'll probably work on the second coat and then the third coat. He did not put another primer underneath of it because it already had a primer and three coats of paint. So what we really worried about uh, paint being absorbed anymore. Now it's just covering over. And the base coat below it was already light enough that this darker color will cover it really nice. Tell us what you think. On the left is one coat. On the right, two coats. I'm in the shadow area here, so it's not real clear yet on how rich this color is going to be but one coat two coat let's walk around and you can see that how far he's gotten gotten the word i don't remember one coat here two coats here on the left if you're like that you can really see what a difference a second coat makes tomorrow will be coat number three well, let's catch up with Nung and see where he is at right now and we'll take a step back and you can kind of see between the upstairs and the downstairs colors. So if I pull back here, you can kind of get an idea of what's going to be the old color up top there. 
versus the new color down here. And again, that's just two coats and it will get even stronger with that color. And then the yellow here is going to change as well. And we continue here with the uh, second coat. So it looks like he's getting about one coat a day for this small section. And again, he's painting with a three inch brush. It's not like he's got a roller. And when I was asking him earlier why he's using the small brush, he was pointing out that if he didn't, he would have to take and tape every one of these white striped areas. And it would take even longer to do that. So by just using the brush, he's able to save him lots of prep time. And since he has a very steady hand, he just went with it. So you can see over here, just one coat. And the idea is with the, br with the brush is to create a grain look because it's supposed to look like these are wood panels. The, it's a cement fiberglass <laughs> material. Oh, my dog's talking to each other. And it has a natural grain look to it. So as you paint it with the grain, with it back and forth stroke, you'll get a grain look to it when it's done. So that's the idea. But you can get an idea here. If I back out between old color and new color. Only second coat. Well, here we go. This is three coats. And this is the final coat that's on here now. And you can take a look how nice that came out and still comparing it to what's going on up top the old color versus the new color so i'll take you around so you can see the different colors as we hit sunshine and shadow so here's the best example of both within the sun and in the shadow you can see it's still a, it's a rich creamy dark red burgundy I call it a leather look. But if you look around the back side here where the sun is shining right now, since it already has the white trim, let me pull back and you can get an idea of how nice it looks comparing the old to what's going to be the new. And a side by side comparison or a top and bottom comparison. Tell me your thoughts, leave them in the comments on what do you think uh, the new color is. That's just going to be the trim. And I did see uh, Nung around the side here. He's working on the belt right now, which is these concrete trim that sits on the edge here, this two top and bottom of the sandstone. And it's getting painted the same color, so it's not anything changed. And he's going to be working hard on that because he's got the ladder right now. So he can only go, get my fingers out of the camera, he can only go so far at a time because of the of obviously going to do it with the ladder and there he is up there slaving away let's see if i can catch him on this side you can see some dogs over at it so you can see over here old versus new and this will probably get three coats as well to make it pop so it's a little bit darker than the old, which was more of an orangey color. The new one is more of a, again, a burgundy. But still looking really good in the ladder. Hey, I like that last rung. I broke that. I was too fat for it. It's Ross and Rayong. Subscribe, like, share. You know how that works. <laughs>